What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Foodie Beauty has done a live, and I can tell that we're getting desperate. I can tell that we're really trying hard to go back to the way things used to be because we know the tried and true system has to come back out. The new foodie is not working from a monetary standpoint. So we start off a lot of hamster info. She talks about Google having conflicting information. She felt like the male and female would be best. She wanted them to be together. And the shop owner, which clearly knew as little as these two did, or just wanted to get them out of the store with as many dollars spent as possible, said this would be fine. It's clear that, at least for the male, the wheel is too small. It's also, in my opinion, very clear, very clear, that she's had them for multiple days. Because in this video, she kind of makes some mistakes and says, oh, well, you know, they make noises when they sleep and I've been cleaning the cage. How is that possible if you just got them today? I'd also like to bring up the point that she's going back and forth on getting rid of one of them. Now, I offer this because if we went out to vlog buying the hamster, then we should technically vlog returning the hamster to make sure we either follow through with this or the hamster makes it to the point he can be returned. Now... Foodie judges a lot of people in this video, and a lot of it is the projection that people are judging her hamster ownership. Let me be clear. I, I could care less what she goes and buys, whether it's a Big Mac or a boa constrictor. It's the impulsive reactions that she has and her failure to think things through completely. She thinks that people don't like her because they disagree with her actions. And even the hug box, to their credit, disagreed with the way she handles responsibility. Because her irresponsibility knows no bounds. Right? She has elder cats, okay? As a cat ages, a month for a cat becomes equivalent to three months. So you need to have them on a more routine screening than you normally would. This is common sense to most pet owners, not to Chantal. She thinks every few months is every few months. The car. These aren't outlandish things. I'm not talking about how do you maintain your Learjet. How do you maintain an animal and a car, a Kia at that? Right? We're not talking about a McLaren here. If Foodie had real friends, and I want you to listen to this, Chantal. If you had real friends, don't you think one of them could come over, start your car, drive around the parking lot two, three times a month, maybe once a week. That way, when you came home, your car was in running order. Instead, you as an adult joke that your car is going to be in shambles when you return because the home that is in Pete's name that you pay rent for, he can't be bothered to walk outside and start a car. Now, he probably can't drive because I don't believe he has a license, which fair enough. A couple people in this community don't have licenses, but... He can't be bothered to go start and drive the car around. He can't walk outside to start your car? Is that where we are? You're judging anyone in these conditions. You sit there and you say that you make more money than me. I just did a video that showed how much I made. Unapologetically. So, whether I did or didn't have a job, which, you know, I know that I do, you can say that I don't, that's fine. Let me tell you something, Chantal. If you're making $100,000 a year and you're living there in a one-bedroom, three-room, including the bathroom, apartment, you don't get to talk about money. You don't. Because if you really love the person you were with, you would make sure they were in better conditions, making the amount of money you claim to be making. Right. How many people in that apartment building do you think are making over $100,000 a year? Probably not many. But that's what you're projecting out to everyone. And in the same exact conversation, you're criticizing things you don't understand. As an example, you criticized that I collect baseball cards. Is your mind so compressed in lacking common sense that you don't understand baseball cards will have a value long before and after either one of us? Do you know baseball cards, basketball cards, go for hundreds of thousands of dollars every single week, every single month, every single day? 
right? Do you know that right now, if I wanted to, I, I could go get, I, I don't have a bunch, but, but I have a couple cards that I could show that rival what you make in a month. You know how I got them? Through my YouTube income. Do you have anything that you can show for your past YouTube income of intrinsic value? Probably not. And that's the difference between you and me. See, when someone projects things about you, you sit there and talk about how it's not true, it's not true, they just don't like you. When you say things about me, rather than sit here and, you know, cam up, as you would say, and show you my house, show you my car, show you how I live, I don't care to do that. I don't need to do that. Because I know how I live, and I don't need to defend it to anyone else. I don't need to show you my savings accounts. I don't need to show you my investments. It doesn't matter. I see how you're living and how you're projecting, and I make my own conclusions. And you know what? Listen, if you've got $100,000 sitting in the bank, more power to you. More power to you. I hope you do. I hope you're saving every penny you have because the pennies on your ads are decreasing. Your viewership is going down. I've told you, you need a plan B. You need a plan C. You need a plan D. You need an exit plan. Exit plan. Key words for you right now. How do you exit Kuwait, get back home, pay all your back taxes, find a place to live when you can't even get your name on your own place with Pete's, get a car that functions, and find some way to get additional income if you need it, if your channel continues to tank the way it is. And the tanking channel is a direct reaction to what you're doing tonight. Talking about me, talking about other creators, bringing up FFG's dogs. Speaking to your hamsters with the same voice you speak to your husband with. You criticize people's channels for not growing. <laughs> Look at your couple's channel. You're like an expert on channels not growing, Chantal. You need to write a book. You know how some people, you know how some people write books on how to become successful on YouTube? You should write a book on how to become stagnant on YouTube. How to put all your eggs in one basket on YouTube. How to create a new channel that doesn't do anything on YouTube. Because that's what you're good at. Right? People only want to see you eat and yell. And if you can't do those, they don't have anything to do with you. See, this channel is a reflection of me growing as a creator. Other people's channels are a reflection of them growing as a creator. Doing more than one thing on YouTube. You only have one thing. That's why you're mad. That's why you're sitting there upset. That's why you look out to your husband... And say, Salah, appreciate me. Vindicate me. Tell me that I'm right. Because deep down, you know that you're not. And I know that you're not. Most people watching you know that you're not. They pay two ninety nine to sit there in a chat and troll you to tell you you're not. So this is it. You're going back to the content that makes you money. Because Salah's love and Salah's wife and couples vlogs, they didn't do that. Everyone in this community is bigger than you. Or everyone would rather be your size because of your great life. These are things that you insinuate. You talk about people's teeth. I mean, Chantal. Really? None of us can get views without her. Even though Sala can't get views on his gaming channel with her. She makes more money than everyone else. Foodie. I don't know what to tell you. But here's something I will tell you. A couple months ago, okay, read a story about a kid that got his baseball card stolen since you want to make fun of baseball cards, all this stuff, right? You want to make fun of people's numbers, income, all that stuff, right? You know what I did? I opened a whole bunch of packs of cards on my channel and I sent the kid the cards to replace what had been stolen from him. You know why? Because I cared to do it. And oh, by the way, all the money that people donated to me during that stream, I made sure his parents got that too. You know what that did for me? It made me feel fantastic because it helped me give back to somebody because I've been pretty privileged in my life. I've been really fortunate in my life, right? I don't have to sit here and vindicate myself every day on a microphone or on a screen to know that I've been pretty lucky. The same reason I don't have to sit here and tell everybody everything that I have and own that I've done to feel like I've accomplished anything in my life. But you are slowly going to that point. Where this is all you're going to have. And this is all you're going to be. And guess what? Sooner or later, channels like me, we're going to move on. And then it's just going to be you. And I mean literally, it's just going to be you. Sitting there, ranting and raving. All to yourself.
You're going to be an Al Bundy-esque character, talking about how great things used to be. You're going to be listening to, Alexa, play Bruce Springsteen Glory Days. And you're going to be sitting there asking yourself where it all went wrong. Well, you know where it went wrong? You slapped the face of the people that appreciated you. You mocked them for sending you $2 like it was nothing. And the people that kept you relevant, well, you couldn't even keep your mouth shut about them. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching. I'll be back. Not because I I have to be. I don't have to do this, Chantal. You do. I'll be back because I want to be. Because it's fun. Soon as I can. With more content.